and Savitri to evoke among the strife that hasten to join the brilliant summoner's chant. And lured with the beauty of the apparent ways, acclaimed a portion of ephemeral joy. This is the description of the arrival of Savitri. She saw that man has lifted up the burden of this creation. And it is at this juncture that Savitri steps into the scene. She arrives here. The divine beauty, the divine wisdom, the omniscient goddess, yes, she wanted to step into the mortal world. She wanted to come here and change its lot. But that beauty, that wisdom, that omniscience was too great for the mortal world to hold. It was not capable of holding her power, her majesty, her greatness. And therefore, she withdrew. She wanted to come here. She thought that things were ready for her to step in. But the martial world was not prepared enough for her arrival. She withdrew. And therefore, again, the blinded quest began. The quest of the future of what should happen, of the march of evolution towards his fulfillment. That quest began again. When the omniscient goddess withdrew from the horizon, the vision had gone back into her realms. What was left here on earth was only the common light of the earthly day, the daily routine thing, the same stars, the same sky, the same moon, the same sun, the same trees, everything was again the same common thing. It is under these circumstances that man lifted up the burden of his fate. The omniscient goddess would not come. Therefore, the poor creature had to carry on the struggle himself. It is among these tribes that Savitri came. Savitri came as the prophetess of the new creation. Not only as a prophetess, but also as a creatrix of the new creation. She heard the brilliant Samana's chant. She heard the call of the sun god, Savitri, the daughter of sun himself, of the sun god himself. She heard his call and she stepped in and she joined the aspiring crowd for the arrival of the sun, the aspiring crowd on the earth, she joined the tribe. She came, she adopted herself, she accepted the lot of mortality. Yes, all its anguish, all its difficulties, all its misery, suffering, death, ignorance. She accepted all that leaving aside her native greatness, loftiness, sweetness, joy, happiness, love. She left that aside and accepted the lot of mortality. She accepted this lot, yet even in her human frame, even in her human condition, human state, she kept her divinity alive in her soul. She was human, yet that divinity was all the while present in her. This embodied guest 
the divine in the human savitri lived according to his nature she belonged to the human spiritual tribe savitri belonged to the human spiritual tribe and it is from this point onward she has to take the burden of man on herself of the suffering world of this ignorance of this mortality and lead it to its future possibility due it due to it its future prospects she belong to the human spiritual tribe beyond the vital and the mental when the omniscient goddess withdrew there was the common light of the earthly day the brain change the same again and again the familiar things which are there they had disappeared the familiar things belonging to the omniscient goddess which were there they had disappeared the glory from the earth had passed away the rain should come from the fields of sleep the rain should come from the fields of sleep and a child of joy shout around him but where is that glory now the glory to the omniscient goddess had brought here where is that glory where is the dream the glory in the dream where have they passed away but behold the child born with new happiness the child born with new happiness that is the arrival of savitri the house is left desolate all these beginnings of sorrow they are there all around many false prophets shall arise they shall arise and give prophecies false prophets but there will be no redemption tumultuous events great tribulations would occur many prophets would arise and give false prophecies all these are beginnings of a sorrow the lightning comes out of the east and shines into the west so shall come the son of man the son of man shall come and bring the lightning along with him then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven coming with the power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet the young fig tree shall put forth leaves telling us that the summer is nigh the summer has come that is the parable of the fig tree that is the sign of the coming of the son of man that is what the scripture tells the son of man's coming he shall appear and the tribes of earth mourn in his coming and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven savitri awakes in this crowd and lifts up the burden of this creation of this mortal lot and savitri to awoke among these tribes that hasten to join the brilliant summoners call the angels who are crowding 
the heaven with the arrival of the son of man Savitri hastened to join the summoner's crowd charm and lured with the beauty and the apparent ways acclaim their portion of ephemeral joy she accepts the lot of mortality their portion of joy while she keeps her divinity fully in her soul yet in her nature she accepts the joy of this transient creation of this passing world the misery of this ignorant creation of this ignorant world and savitri too awakes among these tribes Thank you.